The group's footfalls grow louder as you progress onto a metal suspended balcony way. Is this a tunnel or a wall? Uh, to your left, that is the end of a tunnel. Marcus ceases licking the wall and turns his attention back to the group. Why did you need to lick the wall to figure that out? We are in a wizard tower. Fine, fine. And I'll leave, and I'll leave it at that. <laughs> All right, fine. Many things aren't what they seem. That's and blood, licking though. them, licking them is how you find out what they really are. Oh goodness, that's, though. That's definitely blood. Marcus gives it a lick. Hey, that is uh, definitely human blood. Is, is it? <laughs> I, I approach Indian. Is it possible for him to like? Get diseases from doing that? Oh, totally possible. Completely possible. Wizards aren't, like, immune or anything? Or sorcerer locks aren't immune or anything? No, but tieflings are. Okay. Tieflings, yes. Our our blood is approximately... I don't know about tieflings. Our blood is approximately 20 degrees hotter than the average person, so most diseases burn right out in their tracks. Oh, that explains all those puns you make all the time. Of course, we are still susceptible to mega syphilis, but I'm not worried about that. It also makes blood transfusions a bitch. It kind of does. You've got to heat the blood up before you pipe it in. It's awkward. Huh. All right. (laughs) I look down. Uh, Down below, you see a mangled body pressed into the bars of a cage. How far down? Uh, I'd say, like, it's a 30-foot drop. I try and I grab the back of Marcus's cloak, (laughs) just in case. Thank thank you, Gregor. Thank you. Yes, great. Dangle me down. (laughs) I dangle him back onto the... (laughs) (laughs) Hey, come on, I was ready. I know, Marcus, I know. Marcus leans over a little bit and attempts to summon a grasping hand of pure shadow to lift the body back onto the platform. It's kind of wedged in there. Why do you want that? It's kind of wedged in there. Yeah, it was... Making some weird noises when you yanked on it. In the distance, you hear a... Damn it! Hell is that? Ash, was that you? I, I cover my mouth, my mouth <laughs> with my hand. Damn it. Not again. If that was your impression of a trollide, it was that absolutely wasn't terrible. My, how do you know what a trollide is? What? How do you not? How do you not? Why would I know what a trollide is? I lived on an because, island for almost my yeah, entire life. Because we just how do you fought not them, know Ash? what a trollide is? You don't know what a trollide is either! Of course I know what a troll light is, so how is fighting those troll lights before, Gregor? I have a feeling you're gonna all learn what a troll light is. So, any weak points that prove to be useful? Because I've only had a passing experience oh, yeah. with troll lights. The gills, and not the head or face. Or back. Great. And the gills are... They're on the side! You've Perfect. never seen spot. a troll light before! Of course I've seen a troll lad before, Ash. What did you take me for? I, I turned to Thog. Keep keep the gun for now. Ash, I wasn't going to give it back to you even if you asked. Marcus I holds up Thog's gun and examines it closely. <laughs> Is that my gun, really, son of a bitch? A fascinating little piece of, in, of engineering here. Kier would love to look at this, you know. Oh, I hey, s- another dead body. Hmm. It looks fresh. Because there's still blood coming out of it. It's also uh rather flattened. So, yeah, as you can tell, this body is mostly paste. Definitely yeah. a troll eyed. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think those are his, that's his organ goop coming out through his chest. That's incredibly disgusting. That's incredibly disgusting. Let's get closer. Good idea. Ugh. Yes, please. It's already <laughs> been here, so it can't be here right now. Oh, it is very fresh. Oh, oh, I think I see it. Oh, I oh, definitely yeah, see wow, it. Right oh, great. Oh, it's that. right huge. there. It's huge! It's, Ash, keep your voice su- down. I'm trying to keep my voice down. Are they supposed to be that big? Yeah, sometimes they get that big. When you don't kill them when they're children. <laughs> Marcus backs up. Uh, Fog, here's your gun. I think I've examined it as much as I need to. Okay, so we got another big one. How about you just kill the crap out of it like the lat- Wow, that thing is gigantic! Dog, shut up! Marcus faces a wall over here and begins fiddling with something out of sight. Well, if you think about it, it's really big, so it'll be easier to hit it in the gills. Bigger target. And it'd also be easier for it to crush us, so watch out for that. And I bet it could swallow us whole. That's... Uh, Gregor? Wow. Good question. How many teeth does a trial light have? You know, I've never counted, so hopefully I won't need to. That's promising. That's very promising. Okay, I'm a little concerned about this one. These things are magic resistant. Oh, they are? Yes, very. Wow. It's because of their bad attitudes. Bad attitudes? Yes. Oh, then Thog should be extremely magic resistant. I am, Ash. Thanks for asking. You are? I don't know. Marcus snaps his fingers and conjures a mustache onto Thog's face. Yes, very magic resistant. He tears it off and throws it on the ground instantly. <laughs> Why would you do that? That has a soul. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough, enough with my mustaches and magic and all that. We need a plan. I don't want to fight it. 
I don't. I kind of do. <laughs> Gregor's eyes sparkle. <laughs> You're just saying that because you didn't do very well last time. Yeah, I didn't. This is your chance to redeem yourself. I don't want a chance to redeem myself. I want a chance to not get turned into paste. You've, you've had that chance this whole time. Yeah, I know. I want time to change things up. I want to keep having it. <laughs> So, Thug, the shells for that revolver, what, they have, like, a little bullet and then some sort of uh, gunpowder yeah, stuck in the back? Yeah, explosive material. Uh-huh, interesting. Would you have any spare bullets lying around? I'm gonna take this off of your pay. Okay. He, he reaches into his pocket and hands you a few loose shells. Great. Marcus dismantles them and just takes the bullet part out. Perfect. Yeah, I know I got on your case earlier about calling him a cure, but he's totally being right? Marcus right? turns around and begins cobbling something together out of the shadows. See? Like, See? Like 100 you hear, clank, you hear clanking sounds. Okay, well, great. Since he's not participating, let's come up with a plan. I think it'll charge at us, right, Gregor? Or what? How do they? How do these things work? Definitely. It'll charge at us. Yeah. Don't you remember okay. getting pasted by it? Yeah, I just wanted to check, though. You seem to be kind of an expert on these things. Oh, they also is... jump. Those big, fat, meaty legs. Oh, good for charging, they... good for jumping, good for stepping on you. They jump. Okay. Normally it's... they can't really step on you because they're so small, but this one can definitely step on you. So like, oh. oh so great. you want to okay. avoid its front and avoid its back. And it's got so... those claw things on the sides, so. So just avoid it, is what you're saying. I that's, like my that's plan a pretty of good strategy. Avo avo avoid, yeah. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to avoid it and get around it. Marcus right. turns around, his sunglasses suddenly on his face again. He is holding a jet black revolver, which is substantially larger than Thog's. All right, kids, let's do this. Uh -oh. Are you back to being Horatio? <laughs> I was never done being Horatio. Marcus <laughs> steps around this corner, spies a trollide, takes aim and fires. There is a flash of magenta light, not unlike an eldritch blast, and something whizzes in its direction. <laughs> <laughs> Just make Holy it. Shit, Marcus, that is gun? Marcus feels something break in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> the troll eyed suddenly struck, lets out a loud You said the gills were where again? Not there. <laughs> it turns around. Great. Huh. Great, and there are those dog things. Alright. Oh, we got hellhounds too. You, Marcus, you know pulls a glistening too? Marcus pulls Slime a glistening dogs? shell made out of shadows from his pocket and inserts it into the empty chamber. <laughs> well, yeah, they're. they're Sort of a common chimera. Oh, great. Okay, wonderful. Really? They're popular because they're sorry. hard to hit. And enough, enough with the monster lesson. Is that what the kids are making these days? Slime dogs? I guess so. Hey, I don't know. You're the kids. wizard. We got some more company coming from over here. <laughs> the troll in charge is Marcus. I'll let you guys take care of this one. Marcus strolls away. <laughs> <laughs> Horatio <out>. <laughs> <laughs> How tall are these bars on the sides? Uh, they're, they're that... safety railings. Many of them have broken off. I've got a plan. Being? We throw it over the edge. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> well, I said but, it. But the, but the big legs, couldn't it just jump back up? Ash, you can't just take credit for other people's plans. He said it first, therefore it's his. Okay, I'm, I don't want the plan. Let's just do the plan. Gregor, your plan's going to work great. I hate you. <laughs> hey, troll eyes. <laughs> so much. <laughs> Charge at me! It's Do doing it! it. <laughs> okay. It's I roll out of the way. It slams into the guardrail, damaging it. I expected that to be stronger. Everybody push! <laughs> <laughs> no, Gregor, why are you trying to get it to go off on a part that has the guardrail? Hey! I chuck my sword. No, no fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I throw my knife at it. Ash, why are you throwing weapons? <laughs> the troll <Because> turns. <laughs> I push the dog out of the way and leap. It charges, catching on the edge. Now push it! Fine. Fine. And Ian and Gregor push it over the edge. How do you find a, sh a not sharp bit to push on? How did you find a sharp bit? It's, it's got, got the claws. It's got spines all over. Oh, I look down at my hands, which are bloody. Can I see the big troll eyed from here? Uh, you can see the big troll eyed from there, yes. Great. <laughs> Marcus waves his hands about and casts a spell. An illusory stre stretch of walkway appears. He points his gun headlong at the large trawl eye and says, Come here, doggy. Oh, I think bad ideas are happening over there. And Indian Marcus points. fires yeah, two shots directly ideas. at its face. <laughs> <laughs> the creature lets out a lot of... <laughs> it charges over its t tiny companion, crushing it. That solves one of our smaller problems. And continues charging. It slips, vanishing into the darkness. Oh, did that just work? 
Marcus blows a gust of a uh, gust of acrid smoke out of his uh out of out of the barrel of his gun. Works like a chill. Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, the bottom of the platform is hit by an incredible impact. <laughs> I grip the Marcus railing. Marcus is jostled backward. Holy crap! Hey, that's why I didn't think it would work if we pushed it down. It totally works. Yeah, but now it's just going to destroy the railings. Okay, so the oh no. Uh, see? <laughs> the creature peeks up. I didn't want to be right, but I'm right. <laughs> and once again, it leaps. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, as he does this, he unhinges the chambers of the revolver and puts two new shots into the empty chambers. <laughs> Uh, Marcus, buy some time. Let's dance. <laughs> Marcus begins an awkward shuffling dance. <laughs> he's, the thing's resistant to magic. How is he going to buy some time? I don't know. He's pretty good at it. This thing shoots actual bullets. Gregor, go get him. Go get him. I'm going. I'm going. Uh, guys, I think we have a problem back here. Yeah, hey, I know. Your uh, magic, you deal with wizards. it. Hey. Marcus stops moving and holds his arms out to either side, waggling his fingers a little bit. Come on. Come get me. I, I push Thog back as the hellhound approaches. Ash, you're getting awfully handsy. Uh, yeah, bark, bark. Because there's a hellhound that wants to eat you. Uh, bark, yeah, bark. yeah, I'd also like to register the fact that um I used up all my magic on the last set of hellhounds. I'm fresh bark. out. You used bark. up your... You can use up magic? Of course you can. But as a salt team I... captain, I really need to know your strengths and weaknesses. So we should have <laughs> a discussion about this afterwards. <laughs> yeah, yes, later. <laughs> hey, Marcus, <laughs> let's trade. Bark, 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 come here. <laughs> the troll charges Marcus. I charge the troll. Um, as it attacks, I attempt to dissipate into a cloud of smoke out of the way. I reappear directly at its side and stick my gun straight into its gill holes. Five additional hammers grow out of the back of my revolver. <laughs> and I let loose all six shots at once. There's a cracking of bone. Marcus's hand, now shattered, falls to his side. The creature lets out a roar, blood spattering everywhere. Marcus is thrown back. <laughs> Good job, Marcus. <laughs> Although I wish you didn't cripple yourself. My name's Horatio. <laughs> Throw Marcus back over here. We need him to deal with this hellhound. Because Indian is so disappointing! I scoop up Marcus and hope that someone is ready to catch him. <laughs> I'm awaiting the pass. Marcus lands on Thog. <laughs> Marcus, uh, Thog catches Marcus. You are oh. really light. <laughs> you are so strong. <laughs> I'm really not. <laughs> he puts you down. <laughs> Marcus gets to his feet and holds out a twisted smoking revolver to Ash. Here, use this. Okay. <laughs> you probably like should. Much like I did with, the, with Thog's um... revolver, I pointed at the hellhound. And fire. It dissipates into a cloud of smoke. Mar Marcus Why would you do that? Marcus raises his good hand ahead of him and shoots an eldritch blast <laughs> at his hellhound. <laughs> ah! It impacts and explodes. Wow, good job, Ash. I can't even begin. I'm going to choke you to death later. That's great. My hand hurts. Can you heal it? No. Marcus holds D up his hand. There are bones sticking out of it. Maybe a little bit, yes. Okay. Hold it. Hold it as flat as you can. And uh -huh. don't think about what I'm about to do. Sure thing. Ah! I smash my hands on either side of his hand and collapse the bones back into place. What the fuck? What? It was the best way to do it. Also, you've only got a little bit of time before it starts falling apart again. <sighs> How you doing over there, Gregor? How disappointing. Pretty good. I'm not paced. The trollid continues to ch screech, charge, and miss Gregor. <laughs> yeah, but a little help would be appreciated. It's facing me. It's invincible. Wait, Gregor! I think- Go down that pathway to your left! There's a hole there, Ash. Can't you see which way I'm facing? You turned around to stare at me! <laughs> <laughs> the left before you turned around! <laughs> oh! What? <laughs> Quickly dodge. <laughs> Go down that pathway! There are enemies down there! Get it to charge into them! We'll meet oh. up on the other side! Yeah! I grab Indian by the scruff and <laughs> start <laughs> dragging scruff. her. <laughs> I Marcus by the cloak and start dragging them along. Hey, I can walk myself, thank you. Fine! Dog, can you keep up? I choose to not walk myself. Indian allows herself to be dragged. <laughs> Marcus creates some strings that descend out of the uh, sky made of shadow that attach themselves to this body and attempts to weaken to Bernie's it. <laughs> Dog just grabs Marcus and drags oh, okay, him. Okay, <laughs> fine. <laughs> fine. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm over here. And now I'm over here. And if you charged me, I, hold I my hand. don't Wait. have much room to dodge, do I? 
<laughs> the other smaller one turns around. <laughs> the larger one faces you. <laughs> they communicate. The large one begins to charge. Gregor, run this way! I create a distraction by chucking Inian at the Hellhound. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Marcus eye beams the bottom of this railing, sending it spiraling down into the bar- into the darkness below. <laughs> Jump the corner! <laughs> and bring Inian with you! Please. The creature okay. begins to charge. <laughs> With a hop, skip, and a jump, Gregor leaps, manages to not land on Inian, and then <laughs> assists her in escaping. <laughs> Dragging her. The creature charges. <laughs> it slams, crushing its smaller companion. The slime dogs reform under its feet. It turns go. and continues charging. Go, 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 Marcus go, is already go. at this door fiddling with the lock. Go, go, go. <laughs> So I read it's, handles, it's, knobs, it's not, it's anything. Not, oh, hey, look at that. It's a pull door, not a push, push door. Push, push, Marcus pulls it open. <laughs> <laughs> I step back and dash through. Everybody through. Don't worry, guys. I got this. <laughs> Gregor! I said everybody through, Gregor. Well, it's too late now. <laughs> As it passes, I attempt to spear it in the side. You stab it right in the pain spot. It turns facing you again. Hmm. I guess I'll have to do that again. <laughs> Damn it! I sprint back out and attempt to run up the back of the creature. Careful of the spines. They're everywhere. They are everywhere! Ash, in attempting to climb up, gets impaled multiple times. She stops halfway up due to raw pain. Ugh! I grip one of the taller spines, and I don't even know what I'm doing up here! I'm gonna try something new, Gregor! Bear with me! I reach down and touch the creature and attempt to loosen its skin. Its flesh begins to sort of soften and slough off its body. Ow, Gregor, around you. go! The spines and you slide away. It turns around. Oh, well, I can't really tell where its gills are anymore. So here's a guess. Uh, I stab it multiple times in the side, hoping <laughs> I'm hitting somewhere important. <laughs> you stab it straight in the goop spot. Found uh, it! The creature lets out another howl. I start twisting my glaive a little bit. It starts to bleed out. The hellhounds bear down. Come on! Damn it! Where did Marcus go? Gregor, why did you have to kill this thing? Marcus pokes his head through the door. Are you guys done yet? Why would I not kill that thing? Okay, I'll just be waiting over here. (laughs) All right, wizards, you need to get your game together. I'm sorry, Gregor. I don't have any game. Um, I've got magic and I'm fresh out of it. Yeah, you're a great projectile, though. Ah, like that work? <laughs> I see you considering it, and frankly, I am shocked that Ash could throw me clear across the room. You have ape-like strength. I don't know if I should be jealous, but... <laughs> I am. Please, that was... I didn't even chuck you that far. You skid most of the way. All that cloth <laughs> makes you very... Don't forget the grease. Yeah, the grease. You're covered in it. <laughs> <laughs> the group leaves through the big metal door. Yeah, close it behind me. I'll, I'll just leave that... That aside, excellent control of the situation, Gregor. Thanks. Uh, Pretty impressive, yeah. It was impressive right up to the end when you decided you have to have a one-on-one face-off with the creature. What's the point in killing monsters if you don't kill monsters? You would have just busted through this door, really. Yeah, you're you know, probably right. And then yeah, you're prob- probably right, actually. Okay, you know what? Fine. I'll give it to you this time. Yes. Good job, Gregor. <laughs> Thank you, Ash. You progress into a brand new room. The hu- uh, the walkway seems to come to an end up ahead. Oh, looks like we made it. Thank the gods. Well. Marcus tips his sunglasses down and makes sure that his guitar is strapped in place. I wonder why this area seems so chimera-free. Maybe we killed them all. I don't care. I'm just glad that there isn't anything here. Yep. Oh. Howdy there, chimera squad. Clearing things out. What's going on over here? Oh, that would explain why it seems so chimera-free. And Ian stares. A magic circle suddenly expands around your feet. There were traps. Uh, around not again! <laughs> <laughs> oh, around Ash's feet. That's fine. <laughs> I glare at Marcus. Suddenly, yeah. suddenly, what? A, what? <laughs> a, uh, a wind rips through the room. Uh, picking you up, lifting you off the platform. <laughs> <laughs> Indian grabs Ash, Thaw grabs the, uh, the bars. Let go of me! Gregor and Marcus just- Marcus flaps like a flag in the wind. (laughs) Gregor anchors Marcus. (laughs) You shoot around the room, slam into the walls, and fall to the floor below. Oh, fuck. (laughs) The first to hit the ground due to his, uh, centered core and powerful mid-air horse stance is Gregor. 
<laughs> he slides down, <laughs> slamming perfectly into a barrel, vanishing within its depths. There's a large cracking noise. <laughs> you don't know what it is. <laughs> Next to it is the wizard Marcus. Born downwards by Gregor. He impacts the next barrel. Instead of flying perfectly in, he lands horizontally along the lip of the barrel. You hear a loud cracking, you know exactly what it is. Oh, God. Oh. Marcus slides into the barrel very slowly. It's full of nails. <laughs> That's your own fault. <laughs> uh, what's yours full of, Gregor? It looks like sheep's wool. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Uh, next to come in are Ash and Inian. Inian clinging to Ash, Ash flying around. The two, <laughs> s- the two seem to be flying towards the tree, but then swerve, missing, borne by a magical wind, slamming into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Why not the tree? <laughs> I blame your weight. I blame... Oh, magic. <laughs> Inian passes <laughs> out. Uh, Ash, Ash feels herself losing consciousness. Uh, suddenly, Marcus and Gregor, the two conscious folks... Somewhat <laughs> conscious. <laughs> the pain from the nails keeps him awake. Uh, you h- suddenly hear a procession of footfalls. Is that... is that you, Ash? The barrel echoes. I peek out of the... out of the barrel. And then see... peek back in. <laughs> <laughs> you see a man surrounded on all sides by evil wizards. Um, he walks towards the, the two on the floor. Excuse me, um, with these two new recruits, he motions over to them. Uh, the cultist shakes his head. Intruders, eh? Okay. Take him away. Throw him in the closet or something. The cells are full. The cultists grab Indian and Ash and cart them off to somewhere. The masked man wanders forward. Marcus. Marcus! Marcus waves from his barrel of nails. <laughs> Did you see that? The cultist runs over. No! There's a poof there's a poof of smoke. <laughs> and the barrel that Marcus is in is suddenly empty. He looks in the barrel. Oh holy crap, there's a lot of bloody nails in here! <laughs> Marcus jumps out and karate kicks the man in the back of the neck. <laughs> karate kick in the back of the neck? <laughs> what I said. Marcus tackles the man. <laughs> Gregor takes a page from Ashling the neck stabber and stabs the man in the neck. <laughs> Two more cultists walk over. Did, did Good. You see, did you see that? Horatio Protagonist jumps up onto a barrel, unslings his guitar, and strums a single rippling chord. <laughs> you don't stand a chance. Get out of here. Yeah! I'll kill you! A familiar man wanders from a direction. Oh, if it isn't Horatio Protagonist. <laughs> ah, if it isn't my good friend, Colvin. So, I see you just... You just kill someone back there. There's a lot of blood. I just helped. He wanders. He wanders forward and extends his hand for a wizard handshake. Yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. Was I he give Colton some- the wizard handshake. Was he doing something wicked? Okay, guys, you can back off. This is this is Horatio protagonist. He's a man who's following the truth. If he killed that person, he had to have a damn good reason to do so. And let me tell you, it was a damn good reason. <laughs> the man <laughs> moans from the sheep wool barrel. <laughs> At least he's comfortable. And that over there, that's Gregor's evil twin. The toughest, baddest guy you'll ever find who's on a search for the truth. But I'd rather kill you than find it. He'd rather kill you than find it, so you better stay back. I'm a loose cannon! <laughs> so what brings you to the fork of destiny? Oh, you know... We're just looking for the truth. Looking Our companions, video. Wizards Kelly and Inian, seem to have been kidnapped. Yeah, that Kelly looked pretty strong. <laughs> Tell me, you're looking for where they were taken to? Or are you still interested in finding the truth? Well, truth be told, Colvin, Ash is a complete fucking badass. I'm pretty positive that she can take care of herself no matter who kidnapped her. I'm still looking for the truth. Now, You know which I way don't... the cult leader went? I don't know who this Ash is you're talking about, but Kelly seemed pretty tough. The Indian that I know is kind of a lazy bastard, but she is tougher than anyone. Myself included. He bo- he he stops himself just short of bopping Marcus in the nose. Sorry, it's kind of a reflex. You're in my it's optimal- fine. People tell me I just have one of those faces. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you're looking for the truth, I could take you to meet my- Master, right now. Take me to the truth, Colvin. 
Slowly, consciousness returns to Ash. The last thing you remember is uh, being smacked headfirst into a wall and blaming Anian for it. Uh, reeling, I try and assess my surroundings. I grip, uh, grab at the wall behind me. <laughs> you notice manacles around your hands. Oh, what? oh, good. Do you always make mumbling, moaning noises when you wake up? That's that's pleasant. Usually, it's a pretty human thing to do. Really, really. Yeah, well, when reeling from being smacked into a stone wall. Oh, human customs are so irritating. Whatever, it seems we're locked up in a closet. Ow, what? What? I'm trying to fill you in because you were unconscious for so long. It's been about, what, two minutes, three minutes? Well, okay, fine. <clears throat> fine. What, what happened? What happened? Well, I think you set off a trap and we were slammed into a wall. Um, I was knocked unconscious. You were knocked unconscious. I woke up in here. They've, uh... They've bound my wizarding hands, so, um, I'm no help. Uh, and there does appear to be some sort of container of bleach that's sitting obnoxiously close to me, releasing some sort of horrible fume. The sooner we could get out of this janitorial storeroom, the better. Okay, well, what do you have in mind? I yank at the chains. As you can see, bit preoccupied. Indian begins to smile. Actually, they made a mistake. They let me fall asleep, even if for about two seconds. Still, I can't do anything like this. I need to- I need to fully embody every one of my spells. I'm sure Marcus has talked to you about footing. I thought he was joking. No. What? Seriously? So, wow. what can you do? I've seen some pretty bizarre things coming from your direction all day. I can stab people and I can- Oh, that's a lie and I know it. How do you know it? Bindings. Simple as that. As I said, I worked at the Rune Carver's Guild. Specifically, the group of wizards who studies magical bindings and restrictions. And I know for a fact that those bindings on your arm, and on your neck it seems, aren't just cool tattoos. You're the first person to recognize them. Yeah, so how about it? Break out something great. Impress me. No. Why not? I'm just not going to. Why not? We're trapped in a closet. It smells like feet in here. Feet and bleach. Because... Marcus and them will probably be come, coming through that door any time now. I... I don't... <laughs> Is that a joke? <laughs> no, it's not a joke. Really? I don't need to... I don't need to do anything. I don't need to loose the bindings. I... Let me explain something to you. They don't come in. They find out who I am. They kill me. They find out what you are. They kill you. So, I really hope you rely on these people and trust them absolutely because otherwise we're going to die in here like dogs. Or you could just release those bindings you have on and break out something wonderful that I haven't seen before. Wonderful? You think it's wonderful? Potentially. Could be terrible. I'm assuming it's wonderful. It's not wonderful, Inian. Why not? Why, why not? You know what? Fine. I don't use it because every time I do, it feels like a piece of me gets carved away. I feel a little bit less each time. Maybe one day... Maybe one day I'll be walking around, yelling at everybody like normal. Oh, Ash, there you go. But I'll be empty. Nobody's gonna notice. Indian grins. See, that is wonderful. How could you call that wonderful? What you have locked inside of you is clearly some sort of inexplicable, horrid, huge power. What's being carved away is your nasty human bit. Please, the power itself isn't something to blame. In fact, you should celebrate it. Everything that separates you from the normal wretches of the world, well, that's just dandy. Losing a bit of yourself? That's fear. That's your human part. The part that needs to poop three times a day. Calling out. <laughs> you know what? Fine! <laughs> Fine! <laughs> Ash gets a wicked grin. A hand several times the size of her materializes behind, uh, behind her shoulder, made of moss and stone. It grips the manacles and rips them out of the wall. I'd clap if my hands weren't bound. Good. I don't want you to clap. Oh, I'm going to clap. Just want to get out of here. I whap any in with the stone, <laughs> dodge the manacles. <laughs> Her nose begins to bleed. <clears throat> worth, worth it. Worth it. <laughs> the giant hand once more appears between my arms and severs the chain. She stands up, stretching slightly. Okay, so it's rampage time. It's clearly rampage time. It's clearly rampage time. First them, then you. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Indian wanders back upstairs. 